hi guys and welcome back to my channel so i wanted to do an update video it is currently wednesday november 1st and we have just watched the new disney dreamlight valley showcase watch this on my twitch channel on stream um and i honestly was overwhelmed with the amount of updates and content and information we got especially about the new expansion we didn't get too much about the free update we got a little bit but we got a lot about the expansion so i wanted to do a video of just unpacking everything that was in the showcase in case people didn't see it or weren't quite sure what everything meant and wanted just a bit of a breakdown so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through the showcase bit by bit and just explain some of the information that we saw and found out about it and we can all have a chat and see what we think because there is a lot that is coming at the end of december and we also got a little sneak preview of our roadmap for next year and a very exciting character is coming uh middle of next year so we can unpack all of that and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you at the end so first off in the showcase they gave us a small explanation of some of the things that have been happening over the last year and thank the community for all of the hard work they put in and the support of the game which was really really lovely they included quite a lot of different content creators on different platforms some of them i recognized some of them i didn't so it was quite nice to see some familiar faces but also see some people that maybe i hadn't seen before in the community which is always really really interesting to see everyone doing anything differently so one of the first big updates that we saw in the showcase they started off with was some information on the free update and the character we are going to be getting in this update which obviously is jack skellington now i know a lot of people have been asking for jack skellington i personally was hoping he would arrive in the valley this year when the update came in September with Bell and Beast, especially with the amount of Nightmare Before Christmas items that we had in our Star Path, I was really hoping it was a hint towards Jack coming in that September update. So when I first saw the teaser that he was going to be in this December update, I was beyond excited to see him arrive in the Valley. So this is something that I'm very excited for. I think his character model looks amazing personally i was a little bit worried at first just because you never know how a character like this is going to come out in a character model purely because they are so unique i have to say from what i've seen so far in this teaser he looks amazing and i'm so so excited to be able to unlock him they didn't really explain if he will be coming from a realm door or if he will be turning up in a different way which makes me think he's probably not going to be a realm door so i do wonder how he's going to get introduced into the valley and how we're going to discover him because I don't see how without a realm he's going to be introduced quite seamlessly but I'm excited to see and I do hope that on December 5th he, that quest line will begin with trying to get him as I do want him in my valley as soon as possible because he is such a such a character I've wanted for such a long time in the game and I think he looks absolutely amazing I cannot wait to get him next off in the information about the free update at the end of the year they gave us some little hints and little Sort of teasers of what will be coming in the next star path i'm very very excited for this star path because it's obviously going to be more winter themed and christmas themed which is something i'm really excited for i unfortunately missed out on the star path last year around this time so i don't have a lot of those amazing christmas furniture items and outfits and character skins that others do but i'm very very excited for this year so the main items that they've gave us a teaser for is this beautiful ice rink which we did see in the teaser trailer the other day um, so this is now clear to us that this is going to be in the star path and not be a premium item which is amazing to hear because it means it will be accessible to to everyone on a wider basis it won't be a premium piece of content and this ice rink looks incredible another item that they teased from the star path this christmas is a character skin now when we got Belle in september one of the first things i said when we when we got found out that she was coming was I really hope that one day we get her winter outfit which is this beautiful sort of pinky purple dress with a red coat over the top with a white trim it looks so festive seeing it teased in the showcase today I was beyond excited because I felt like I predicted it I was so happy to see it. I know a lot of people in the community were asking for this so I wonder if they did see people mentioning this back in September and decided yeah let's go with it um or if it was a pre-planned thing but I'm beyond excited and belt will be wearing this all year in my valley i i don't care there's certain character skins that they stay in permanently stitch will permanently be in his halloween outfit and bell will permanently be in this outfit no matter the season because it is so so beautiful 
One of the next big things they talked about in the showcase was obviously multiplayer. This is something that had been teased, but we didn't get too much information on. We kind of just got the teaser of characters standing together, but we didn't understand what the extent of multiplayer would be. We didn't know if it was we could trade, we could interact with each other's valleys. We didn't know how interactive it would be. Obviously, we knew people could essentially come and visit, so yeah, how they would interact and, and how much we would be able to assist each other in our valleys and things like that. I know a lot of people have been asking for trading um, and this was something we were curious about. So they did start explaining some of that multiplayer feature, which was really exciting. So something we did see in the showcase trailer was a really cool kind of portal light with a rainbow light in it um which is definitely a new item in the game i'm assuming this will come straight away in the free update to all players i don't think you'll have to unlock it i think it will probably most likely just appear in your mailbox or just appear in your valley and you'll kind of have a small little quest line with merlin or someone to explain it i'm not quite sure but this um portal seems to be the way that you'll be able to interact with the multiplayer features one of the big questions that people had with multiplayer coming is whether there would be a trading system. I knew a lot of people were hoping for a trading system that would allow you to trade physical items like furniture and things like that from Scrooge's store. This was something that I wasn't quite sure about just because it does kind of take away from the excitement of being able to obtain the items yourself as much as it's painful to wait for Scrooge to have something in his store that you've wanted for months and months and months it does allow you to kind of keep playing the game and keep trying to get those items especially with an update coming we are going to be getting new items so that kind of grind of being able to find those items and be treated to them is such an excitement for me that I wasn't quite sure about the trading system being used for that however it does appear that when they explain that we can exchange items together, they did not signify that any of these will be furniture. They used examples such as food or building materials like iron. So they were explaining how if you really needed iron for a certain build, which I know a lot of us do, and someone else you know has an excess of iron, they can trade those items just to help you with quests and help you with crafting and things like that. But they did not signify that any th furniture would be traded. So I do not, I personally don't think that trading of actual furniture that you get from Scrooge or from a furniture pouch will be tradable, but we will just have to see. But from what they've shown, I do feel like it is just these craftable items that we can make for other people. However, one of the things that I was very excited to see, which I really, really didn't think would be a feature, is that we have the ability to visit each other Scrooge's store. I think this is such a good addition. I think they really, really nailed it with, with including this. Other people I know that play the game, we will always kind of discuss what we got in the shop that day. I know a lot of people do it in Discord servers and things like that. They will discuss what they got that day and they'll celebrate each other finding something that they really, really wanted. But they'll also express their disappointment if that day they didn't get anything new or they got something new that they, they weren't too interested in. So having this ability to be able to visit each other's Scrooge's store is going to be such a cool addition. It means you can talk to other people in the community and they can say, this is what I have in my shop today. If anyone's interested, I'm more than happy if you want to come and visit. And it's a way for people to connect and be able to visit each other's store and complete those furniture collections. So once again, in the showcase, they were discussing everything that's been achieved over the last year and how they really wanted to round out that storyline by the end of the year for early access players, as though the story has been kind of completed by us during that early access time. And then they can start on something new and something fresh going into 2024. In doing so, it then led them to show us the next free content roadmap. In the 2024 roadmap, we kind of have an indication of what is going to be happening between now and the summer of 2024. These are very brief and kind of simple explanations. They were letting us know that they didn't want to give us too many spoilers just to keep the mystery and the magic. And obviously this showcase was showing off a lot of information about what's happening in December of this year. I feel like adding any more information about next year would have would have been overwhelming and would have kind of taken that excitement away and made it kind of span all the way over next year. But they did give us a very brief roadmap that I'm sure at some point they're going to adapt and change and make a little bit more exciting. However, this free content roadmap for next year looks 
incredible so first off you can see that there is a small description about december 5th 2023 where it says welcome the pumpkin king to the valley and enter the valley verse with your friends so it gives us a really cool still image here of a player and a friend with jack skellington who's again a character model looks amazing but it's obviously just letting us know that in this free update we will be getting jack and we will be getting multiplayer it doesn't really show much else apart from that so it hasn't really teased anything else that we'll be getting in that free update but i will be curious to see what we will be getting that is new aside from the star path next it shows us in late winter 2024 that we will scream with excitement as a new realm door opens with a very clear picture of mike Wazowski. they did say in the showcase later on that it is confirmed that the next realm door will be a monsters inc realm and we will be getting mike and sully this is something that i had already kind of thought was very very likely to happen i was very confident that our next realm door and our next kind of set of characters after december was going to be monsters inc so when we saw that screenshot of mike in the previous trailer for the showcase it pretty much confirmed that but to know that we'll be getting mike and sully inside this realm door is really exciting i'm really excited to see how they've themed it and bringing those guys in i think will be such a nice addition because we do have so much monsters inc items and decorations and obviously house skin the next three steps of the roadmap are very brief but do give us a really good indication of what is coming and i'm very very excited about it so in early spring 2024 which i would predict is probably around march or april time it says a vibrant new villager moves to the valley so when you read this you can't really get an indication of who's coming it doesn't really explain however if you look at the graphic above it is a very clear shot of donald's boat which is showing us a very clear shot of daisy duck on the front now daisy duck is someone we've been asking for for a such a long time obviously we have a lot of the core disney characters and mickey and friends characters but not daisy duck now daisy duck and pluto are two of the characters that i'm really really hoping we get soon because they do kind of we do have more characters in that core section of mickey and friends obviously i'd love to see chip and dale at some point i absolutely love chip and dale but daisy and pluto are really core cool characters that i think we need as soon as possible so this graphic pretty much confirms that in early spring we will be getting daisy duck now i'm so excited for this it's going to be such a nice addition and I just think it's it's about time that we had Daisy in the valley. Next up it says late spring 2024 which we would assume is probably around May, April, May time. It is saying you don't find a realm like this every dynasty. Now with this door showing some cherry blossoms and with the reference to a dynasty it does make a lot of people think that this is going to be Mulan. Now we haven't had any indication towards Mulan in the game so far which is surprising as she is such an iconic Disney princess but if this realm door does end up being Mulan themed I would be very very excited as we haven't really had any indication of this yet. Now in the final section of the roadmap, this is the roadmap step that I am most excited for and I know a lot of people in the community will also be feeling the same way. In summer 2024, which we would hope would be around June, July time, a new princess joins the valley bringing new culinary delights and this one is very clearly indicated who they're talking about in the graphic but also in the showcase they did confirm that tiana will be coming to the valley now i am so excited for tiana she has been in my top three to come to the valley ever since the game started and i'm very excited because my number one was rapunzel who we are getting we will then be getting tiana so this is the next roadmap getting this was really really exciting obviously as i said everything is kind of brief in its information but at the same time it's pretty easy to figure out who all these steps are about obviously they don't give us a clear indication of when these will be coming but i'm sure earlier into 2024 we will get a clear indication of when all these updates will be coming to our game so the final part of the showcase which took up a big bulk of it was some more information and images of the new expansion pack at the start of this they did show a really in-depth trailer showing us all the new features in this game before they went into them into detail in this trailer you can see all the different biomes that are coming all the characters the new royal tool as well as potential for some of the plot line that will be happening so essentially in this expansion pack a rift in time the plot line will be based around Jafar. Now Jafar will have done something to manipulate this area and to have affected it causing the issues that are going on in this biome and our three main characters to be stranded here. 
Now, when our character goes into these new biomes, essentially our job will be to fix these biomes and rescue these three characters, whilst also uncovering the secrets of what Jafar has caused in this area. Now, as we go further into the showcase, they gave us a really in-depth explanation of how these biomes are going to work, how our royal tool can be used, as well as how we are going to interact with these characters. So first off, with our new royal tool, they were explaining how these can be used to manipulate time and to affect all those issues that Jafar has caused in these biomes however also it has been teased that it's going to be used to uncover treasures so if you take this new royal tool into the new biomes or into the previous biomes in our original valley we can use these to find ancient treasures that are buried under the ground this means this tool can not only be used in these new biomes in the expansion pack but also can be utilized in our original valley to uncover new things to help with our quest lines next we were giving some hints of how we are going to interact with the new characters and we were showing some of their player models i personally think all three characters look absolutely amazing but i am super 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 excited excited for Rapunzel I think her character model is absolutely perfect and I just I'm so excited to go and find her and get her into my valley as quickly as possible obviously Eve looks amazing we have all been waiting for Eve and been anticipating her arriving and she looks amazing now Gaston's character model people weren't too sure about from the splash art however I do feel that in these trailers he does look a lot more accurate to what we would expect him to look like um as much as i'm not too fussed about gaston being in the village as he is a villain i do think his character will bring some really really interesting quest lines and it will be nice to have another villain in the valley because it has been a while so first off they were explaining how we are going to find eve in ancients landing this is a more sort of ruined area by the water with some really nice sort of jungle trees but also a lot of open space and what looks like some new pathways and a lot of new furniture now this area really reminded a lot of people of Atlantis. Now they haven't really indicated that this biome is based on Atlantis or has ties to Atlantis. However, it isn't difficult to be able to see the similarities between this and Atlantis. So I'd be very surprised if there are no ties into Atlantis with this biome. However, we have not really heard much about that in this showcase. The next biome that we go in is the more desert style biome, which is known as the Glittering Dunes. Now, this is where we find Gaston, who has been stranded in this desert. And we have to obviously help him with this. Now, this biome, as it is more desert-like, has a lot of hidden areas and obviously is going to have more of a link to Jafar's storyline as it is very similar to that of Aladdin. But in this biome we can see a lot of crystals, a lot of cacti and a really more abandoned kind of look. Now the final biome where we are essentially going to find Rapunzel is called the Wild Tangle which is definitely my favorite biome of the three this looks absolutely amazing it's kind of like a mix between the glade of trust and the forest of valor which is a really really nice look and i think it fits rapunzel's character perfectly now in this biome we have a lot more of a jungle style foliage with some really cool twisted trees that remind me of more of a jungle style and this is where we will find rapunzel and help her and we also get the new capybaras in this biome Finally, when we were looking at this expansion pack, we got some information about how we will be getting a lot of new features in this expansion pack that we have had in the previous base game, but will be adapted for this pack. So we will be getting new fruits and vegetables. We'll be able to go to Goofy's stall and get new vegetables that we can grow in these biomes or in our original valleys. We'll also be getting fruit bushes and fruit trees, the same as we've had before, but with new varieties. We'll have new flowers, new trees, everything like that that we can use in our original valley but they wanted to ensure we did also have those accessible here as well as our three new critters which are the snakes the monkeys and the capybaras also while we were discussing new characters they gave us a small teaser of some of the rewards these characters are going to give us for their quest lines so for rapunzel they showed us a suit and dress that we will be getting for completing her quest line now this dress i am absolutely obsessed with i think it looks beautiful and it fits rapunzel's character so well the suit is also really, really nice. They also gave us some small hints of some of the other furniture. So for Gaston, they showed us an archery board with some arrows as well as a look at his house. Now with Eve, they showed us this really cool flower display, which really fits the vibe as well as a look at her house. Her house looks quite small, which might be perfect because we can fit it next to all these in our valley. But now one thing I was really surprised about when they did show us 
was a map of what these three biomes looked like. Now, they were explaining how these three biomes combined are about the same size as our original village. Now, when they showed this and said about the size of it, it made me realize these biomes are going to be huge. We're going to have so much space to be able to build here. We're going to have so much room to discover things. They did say later in the showcase that there are going to be lots of hidden areas and places to find. They wanted to give us a lot of things we can explore and things that will take time to explore that aren't necessarily attached to quest lines. They might be more sort of spontaneous things you will find whilst exploring these areas. But the size of these biomes, I'm very, very happy about. And when they were talking about these biomes, they did confirm that they will be coming with their own new object count so that we will not have to worry about going over our original valley object count when decorating these biomes. They will be completely unique, which is definitely a really good thing for them to mention. Now, something that they said about in the showcase that we definitely weren't expecting, at least I wasn't, was this new chess feature where we will be able to essentially play a mini game alongside characters in the valley where we will be playing on a chessboard. Now, this is something I definitely didn't expect and I don't know how much I will be utilizing this in game just because it is so random, but I do find it really interesting how they were explaining how a lot of their team enjoyed playing chess and enjoyed playing board games with each other so they decided to implement this mini game as just a fun little attribute to put in the game and finally one of the final things they put into the showcase for us was giving us a look at these new ancient machines that we're going to be able to use to make things in our valley a little bit more efficient now this is something that we definitely had not been teased and we definitely weren't aware were coming and i think a lot of people were surprised by these because they are such simple changes to make our life a lot easier and to make things a little bit less of a grind in certain aspects of our valley so one of the first things they showed us was this kind of water pump water sprinkler machine which essentially you put next to your crops and it will water them for you now this is going to be incredible as well as this they showed us an ancient machine which is an auto cooker now this is something i know people are going to be very excited about because we have been talking a long time about the cooking feature and mechanic in this game and how long it takes to cook meals especially if you're batch cooking things like pumpkin puffs or grilled vegetables when you're trying to earn money now, the final piece of information that they did show us in the showcase was essentially what they deemed as a surprise so it was something we all weren't aware of so we were all kind of waiting to hear what the surprise would be and it was just letting us know that on the apple arcade on your phone or your ipad or any kind of apple device this game will be released on the arcade coming december 5th it will include the base game and it will include the new expansion pack so if you are someone who is looking to get this game on another device or you don't have a device currently that can run the game you will be able to get it on the arcade However, something we have found out is that there will be no microtransactions in this version of the game. So things like star paths and premium shop items that cost moonstones, you will not be able to access at all. Even if you used dream snaps to earn the moonstones, you can't use any of those transactions. So if that is something that you're looking to do in the game, um, that is a feature that will be missing currently. I don't know if this is going to change. This is just information we have got off of the Apple Arcade store on the listing for the game. So if this does change, just keep checking it to see. But it does seem like that is going to be a feature that is missing. So if that is important to you, just keep that in mind before purchasing the game on Apple Arcade. So that was the whole showcase. It lasted for around 40 minutes, which was actually longer than I thought it was going to be. It did feel like it went quicker than i thought i it kind of felt like 10 minutes and it wasn't until i looked back and realized it was 40 minutes i was like okay that was a lot to fit in 40 minutes um i felt like they covered most of the topics that we wanted to know about in the showcase there were a couple of things that i hoped they had talked about um such as more information about the free update whether the act 2 storyline is going to be in the free update or if it's going to be part of the expansion i think we needed a little bit more clarification on what actually will be in the free update just because there are some people who are not interested in the expansion or don't want to spend the money on the expansion which is completely fine obviously i personally will be buying the expansion on the day it comes out and playing it and doing all those things but i do think it's important for those people who aren't doing that to be able to hear the information that they tuned in to hear 
so we will have to see if this is something that they do update us with over time or if we will just have to wait till december 5th to find out what will be in the free update apart from that though i do feel like they answered most of the questions we were wondering about and also gave us more information that i was expecting especially about multiplayer and about the expansion pack i felt like we got a lot of information that i wasn't expecting to get so i do feel like we learned a lot Feel free to let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the showcase and what you thought of all the information we got, whether you're happy or excited or if you're a bit nervous or unsure or there's anything that you wanted to chat about. Feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!